Welcome back, one and all, to the Brexit Estate. Hard by the darkest dungeon where I haven't been uploading very many videos recently. In fact, it's been almost a week since I uploaded anything, and I do apologise wholeheartedly for that. I've been pretty busy and pretty exhausted having all the windows and external doors in the building replaced. I've had to spend lots of time hauling stuff around from room to room to make access so builders can get at windows and stuff and it's just been a pretty tiring time to be honest. I haven't had too much time to dedicate to making videos so I'd like to try just now sit down do a nice short simple expedition. Uh, it's either going to be this one or this one. I think I'll actually go for low level one for a rather stupid reason. So, ooh, wait, 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 can I, is there a, checking high level heroes, I think I do kind of want to go high actually, and if it all goes wrong I'll have to turn tail and run, basically, so if we take Marius and Kelda, and let's say, ooh, Ludovic, can you work from position three a bit? He can. Okay. And then some kind of plague doctor type character with condition removal. Um, let's actually go for little Nem. We haven't taken her out in a while. Um, do we want to use these skills? Um. Yeah, for now, okay. So, taking these four, clearly there's a little training which could be done. And she's only little, so, you know, it, it's not too much of a problem. Uh, Ludovic, um, he's pretty good on... Ooh, flashbang, maybe. Mm. Let's hold off for now. Wait, 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 wait. No, flashback. Stupid idea. There we go. Right. And then we have... Marius, who's got all skills... Not quite all skills maxed. Okay, but... And Kelda, who should be okay this run. Alright, we want to be careful on money. We want to hope for a new town event. And... Uh, basically make it through a cake. That's quite a lot of food we've taken already. Uh, it is a short, but it is in the cove and we don't have a dedicated healer. So we do want to be careful. Uh, take a couple of keys just in case. One, two. Whoa, that's good enough. Uh, Let's take half a dozen of these. Now, do we take the cure to... I think we hold off for a... Hmm. I don't know. Marius has earned it. But I think we should hold on for a little while and see if there's anyone else more needy. Alright. Let's do this. So... In other news, while I haven't been able to record very many videos recently, I have been working on the Senua class mod and I can happily report that it is nearly ready. Uh, yes, there are things that need to be done before it can be considered finished. Things that people will complain about if they are not done. But she's basically finished and very playable at the moment. Her new trinkets are in the game. I hope to see them soon. The smell of rotting fish is almost unbearable. Perhaps I'll even get to find some of them on this run. Alright, explore. So basically, get the cack knocked out of me by every kind of horrible high-level monster there is. Right, this is the closest thing we have to a dedicated healer. She's going to be very exposed and very fragile, and we want to take a lot of careful care of her. Okay, we will take the extra torch and we will not complain. We'll take the crest as well. Wonderful. And dig our way Another through this mariner. wreckage. Another misfortune. 
So yes, Senua's skills are finished, her trinkets are finished, it feels great. Admittedly, I still have to go write a load more dialogue lines for her, and sort out sound effects, but then she'll be done, basically. And I need to sort out her character sheet background image, because currently it's got a slight issue. Now, that being said, there are other changes I'd like to make to the mod, but in terms of being suitable for release, she's so very nearly there. And it would be nice to finally get it finished. Oh, that was a good fight. That was a very health good investment. And here are foes. Okay, this is going to be fun and interesting and difficult. Can I get you? Yes, I can. There's a lot of damage. Except it's nowhere near enough, right? Uh, we could do some protection. Yeah. It's okay. I mean, it's a lot. Ooh, that's a lot of stress. Can we stun you? Now, the downside of this is that it could have shuffled him forwards and put one of them near the back, where their spears would have become a deadly danger to us. Right. There we go. I did not use the Lordum, and that's okay. Right, we'll just hit him with an axe then. Okay, don't want a sword, right? Oh! Okay. Bang! Damage is damage. Right, we'll get some healing on there. It's not much. All the damage is coming his way. I think we're going to be swapping Inspiring Cry for Battle Heal. Can we get a kill? Yes, As that probably helps a lot. A faint hope blossoms. Ah, oh, he is really hard to hit. Okay. Gotcha. And now he's stunned. Which means our Witcher here can probably finish him off. However, that is a lot of stress. Mm. The agony. There's very little ecstasy here. Right, let's get a bit of healing then. And his healing skills are actually good at the moment. We should definitely look into fixing his health, though, because we've got a lot of rooms to go through. Oh. Nice. Annihilated. Now, what's it? Stun resistance. Okay, big stun resistance. Got him. And improvement. Well, at least we can hit him. And four for two is eight. That's quite a bit. We can even try and hit him again. Oh, 64 was looking a little bit low for life when it comes to the madman. But if we keep at it, press this advantage. That worked. Give them no quarter. <laughs> Oh, yes! A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. Right, so, uh, two or three to four, we're also getting an extra third on top, so it's going to be like uh, four to five, basically. Okay. Ooh, right. Hmm. Let's push on into the next chamber, and hope we are not waylaid by manxum foes. Alright, Kelda, uh, 100, 100, okay Ludovic, you can deal with this one. Be proud.
of what you've achieved. It is only your calling that makes you so important when it comes to these devices. And on we crawl. Uh oh. Curious is the trap maker's art. Oh. His efficacy unwitnessed by his own eyes. Right. So 12 rounds is quite a lot, but if we walk to the end of this hallway and that room is empty and then we come back, we're good. If we walk into that room and it is not empty... Oh! Okay. 11 rounds. Hey, we might be able to do this. What's reduced? Dodge and speed. Okay, that might actually be a bit of a problem, but he's relatively slow anyway. Yeah, we, we can kind of make this work. I mean, if she doesn't get murdered by that spear. All right. That worked really nicely. So then if we give him the protection there of having the block, then I think we're well on the way to saying, aha! Yes! Can we? No, we can't get you. Okay, we'll just shoot the sword. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. What a beautiful kill. It's moved him forwards into the second position, which is perfect for us. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. That being said, we're starting to wish we brought some extra food. Right, that works nicely. Oh, double miss. Uh, the stress is important to us. And now we don't have stress removal for him. But we do have nice healing. Six whole points! Yes, please. And is that healing received? That is healing received. He really needs to be healing himself soon then. Uh-oh. That's a lot of stress. Destroyed. And that's a nice amount of damage. I'm not sure that healing received affects regeneration. You know, we're doing okay with that. Let's just take a big heal. Eight points is good. That's really good, actually. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. So that is quite a lot of stress. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted and purpose is made clear. We will be looking into removing that in the not too distant future. Like as soon as we wander into another fight. If we don't get into another fight soon, he may get a virtue test. In which case, oh well, we better just deal with it. Oh, just a quick recording check. Yeah, all going good. Okay. Whew. So in that case, we just blatantly swap Holy Lance for Inspiring Cry. And improve battle heal in the not too distant future. Like when he gets back to town we can train back, right? Because that'd be nice. Oh yeah. How could this go really well for us? Well, we could get back to town and get a town event that could restore one of our dead vestals to life. Will find no clemency in this place. That'd be really great, wouldn't it? You know, that would... Oh, gosh, she's got the same thing. Right, yeah, we are... Oh, what? Wasting. Oh, you, you foul thing as he just mashes his face into the side of that fish and goes... <laughs> with his helmet on. And just like... like It's like a cheese grater, you know? It just like mashes up the side of a fish with the holes in his visor and this foul stuff slopping down inside his helmet. He is like... Making the others go Ugh! quite a bit. We might have to do something about that when we get back into town. Oh, four fish men! That's really bad! 
Can you feel the stuns tonight? Yeah! Except you pushed it forwards. Damn it. Okay. Oh! Ooh. Gonna have to do it anyway, I'm afraid. Oh! Uh oh. Here we go! Oh, I'm refracted! The human mind. Fragile. I Level can't even remember what that one does. At least he ignores stealth while he's doing it. Right, okay, interesting. <laughs> and now all the murder and pain begins. <laughs> oh yeah. He's like one of those um, kaleidoscope. That's for what I was looking for. Yeah, he's like a kaleidoscope knight now, with his cheese grater helmet and the rotting fish meat inside it. He is like repulsive. Nice damage. Oh, oh! If only we could work his dodge up a little bit more. Gotcha! Obliterated. The blood quickens. Uh oh. Oof. That was horribly close to being damaged there. Oh damn. We do need to work on that stress despite the amount of damage our bounty hunters incurred. Keep the torch lit! You must! Don't let the light go out! Nice! Okay, we can work with this, right? We, we can work with this. This is not completely untenable. Okay, now it's getting a bit bad. Nice! Nice, nice, nice. Right, we're just gonna like whack in some healing there. Lovely. Like a phoenix from the ashes, he will rise! And yes, that was a whack in phoenix reference. Even though whack in doesn't quite. You know what I mean, right? You do, hopefully. I mean, makes sense to me anyway. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Hmm. Okay, Kelda. What can you do? Well, that's nice. I see a debuff here. I see some medicinal herbs. Guess what? Got some sapphires now. Hey, wasn't that nice? We even got a nice scouting roll! Oh, this is so good. Uh, yes, yeah, so we're talking this stuff. Hooray! And push on. Let's even try to get a scouting roll in that next room as well. Yeah. Hmm. Do we get a... No, we don't. Okay, we just got to try one of these rooms and pray to the high heavens. Nothing too bad happens. We don't need any more invitations just yet. Hacks laden with loot are often low on supplies. And we're going to hope Marius doesn't go cheese grater on this next fish again, which he didn't, so that's good. If this room is empty, that's even better. It probably won't be. Hey, it was! Excellent! Let's head back to town and get our reward. Despite its morbid aspect, this twisted cavernous maze seems almost traversable. So what I should do now, really, when we get back to town, is check the... Um, not the stagecoach, the, the what's it, merchant, for trinkets to see if any of Senua's trinkets have appeared. Egomania? Well, it is Marius after all. I almost think he should keep that. 
<laughs> Those of you who know my friend Marius will know what I mean. I was lord of this place before the crows and rats made it their domain. So, Marino has been cured of hemophilia and Keris no longer suffers from the ague. No town events this week. And in the Nomad Wagon, we have no Senua trinkets this week, unfortunately. Alas. But, ooh, the book that bites back. What do we have in terms of librarian books? Okay, we got A Shadow's Tale, Poisonous Assertion. Um, we don't need two puzzle boxes, so I'll put that one back. Sell that. And then in light of that, I will purchase that book. Expensive though it may be. Ooh, I almost want to grab that as well, but I should hold off on the money front for now. Alright, that about wraps up this episode. I hope you've all enjoyed this one, and I will look forward to seeing you in the next episode. I'll say bye-bye for now, and cheerio!